security, one of the big issues happening in Nigeria currently and something we must talk about. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, vows to disrupt terrorist financing networks by monitoring banking transactions and cutting off funds to bandits. EFCC Chairman Ola Olukoyede made this commitment through his representative, Commander Wilson, uh, Director of Public Affairs Directorate at the 2024 Annual Civil Military Conference organized by Civil Military Corporation at the National Defense College, Abuja. The move aims to curb rising insecurity and banditry in Nigeria, which has been linked to corruption and illicit financial flows. To achieve this goal, Olukoyede said that the EFCC work closely with the armed forces. And uh, he explained that by blocking illicit funds, the commission hopes to reduce the financial incentives for these criminal activities. We will continue to monitor the flow of funds, especially in the banking sector, to ensure that illicit money doesn't get into the hands of bandits, kidnappers, and terrorists, he added. Um, earlier, Chuba, you mentioned terrorists not being mentioned by the government and nothing being done. This is EFCC telling us what they're going to do to put an end to financing or banditry. What are your thoughts on this story? Like is this it, finally a step? It's not a step for me. It's another um, 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 newspaper headlines and we are reviewing it now as a country. Until something is done differently, we will just keep being on the jugular to keep criticizing them constructively for good. This is not a different Now, action. what makes it different? Now, I want to ask you. See, Nigerians were subjected to the process of name. Nigerians were subjected to the process of BVN. Nigerians were subjected to the process of so many registration issues on the grounds of the singular grounds that they needed to have a database where terrorism and its financing can be curbed. Mm. These same Nigerians have been given an information that people who are terrorizing you, to a large extent, Interpol can come out to say, we have named them, we know them, and these are their names. For crying out loud, one would have expected that this is what is considered or supposedly considered internationally as treasonable felony, and government should have swept, uh, swept into, uh, into them, swept into them quickly, and made sure that at least they are brought, they are arranged and brought to book. But up until today, nothing of sort had happened. In the light of this, we have all these processes. Come on, let us call a spade a spade. When you make a funny call, a young man in the Dubai administration stayed in the cocoon of his house, far away in State, and made a tweet. And in less than six hours, he was apprehended by government people because he, he, he made a sarcastic statement against the first lady. These are the same uh, uh, people, uh, uh, security agencies, who went outside of this nation, of this country, went to far away Kenya, got somebody in the Gestapo manner, brought the person into this country, and the person is still in incarceration. Mm. Up until today, is it the same uh, people that are telling us that so, so much, a mongous amount of money to the tone of 100 million, 500 million, have been transferred? electronically, or even by withdrawn by cash with all the policies we see in our uh, banking sector to terrorists and bandits, and you tell me there is a process, listen, I may be able to say that the, the, the organization should be more serious with our business. The corruption we have always said, we have been in this country, we saw that even terrorists had affiliations with people in the, uh, in the Senate to the extent that we, I mean, these people, they are not eating, these are facts that are already in, all in public space, they were seen even in government houses at the end of the day. If we do not address these issues holistically, we will keep on coming well, Chuba, to make statements of these issues. These, these um, challenges that you have mentioned, the problems that you have mentioned, wouldn't that be the reason this was this was uh, mentioned? Um, that uh, EFCC wants to. Yes. What, don't you think the EFCC saw all of these by challenges default, and problems listen, and they decided to come up with by this? By default, I, 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 my first degree is in information management technology. By default, and I want to tell you without my word, if this is when EFCC is talking about looking at the transactionary processes of banking, there is a failed system for me. All right, Ambassador. Well, they said they will continue, if I will understand the statement very well. That means that they have been on it, and uh, Nigeria is a continuing nation. So for EFCC, they will say they will continue. Uh, ensuring that they fight illicit uh, transaction with uh, criminals, you know, and terrorists, I think is uh, not a statement out of place. Uh, all I can say is to encourage them to continue. How effective and, has uh, this been since you uh, said they've been uh, doing no, it? When I, when I said is to encourage them, the encouragement means is for them to do more so that we can see more results. 
because if we see more results, I think the angle where my brother is uh, coming from, he will have reasons to say they are trying, let them do more. So Nigerians want to see that the processes of curbing you know, terrorism and criminality in Nigeria is being given a very you know, uh, important attention. Uh, uh, EFCC will not say they are not having you know, the report of financial transaction. I think it's a policy now in government. That's why in bank, at a particular time, they close transaction because they have to report back to CBN every day. And then the anti-graph agencies get to report from CBN of financial transactions of the day. So I think that is maybe is a, a system that needs more support, more help, more encouragement. Of course, we know that most times there are also political interferences when it has to do with investigation, trying to curb uh, uh, criminality and whatsoever. We have so, so much, most times, interferences. So I'd like to encourage the EFCC, our security operatives, not to be discouraged, not to be data. Let them continue and to give more attention, more seriousness in ensuring that the Nigerian state is delivered from terrorism, from banditry, from kidnapping, and every kind of uh, criminal activities. So I, my take uh, this morning to the EFCC and the security operative is that they should be encouraged and they should do more. Nigerians want to see more results. So because I will not say they are not doing anything because we hear them say, oh, we have arrested this, we have done this and that. They are trying, internet for stars. but they should do more. I think that's the best. All right, uh, let's take our last story before we get to wrap up. Cause